if you try to steal from me, God is going to smite you where you stand. Is this recording? Yes. Okay. Hi. What I need somebody to explain to me is why I just filmed this entire video and then realized it was in slow-mo the entire time. So, we're gonna run it back. Anyways, hi everyone. How are you all doing? How are you all feeling? Are you happy? Are you sad? Because it was just Valentine's Day and I was also single, babe. So, like, are we sad? Are we happy? I'm happy. I went to the club. But I hope your month is going great. I hope your year is going great. I hope you're living in abundance. I hope you're waking up every morning, saying your prayers, drinking your coffee, eating your eggs and toast. <laughs> this video, I've already started editing and it's such a big boy. It's so long, it's so obnoxiously long. And I keep trying to make videos that are under like 20 minutes and I physically cannot do it. So, I don't know, I mean, I guess that's kind of good for you all because it's just like more time on your Sunday with me. However, it's not good for future Olivia who is editing. So, sorry baby girl, you're just gonna have to roll with the punches. So anyways, I'm gonna jump right into it. This is going to be a what's in my bags uh, haul for the entire year abroad. I tried to kind of make it so that I had a good mix of clothes and a lot of people have been asking me like, how do you pack for a year abroad knowing that you're gonna be in different climates, different environments, on the beach, in the city, on a train, in the sky? What am I doing with that? Like, how do you pack for that? Spoiler alert, my bag's overweight. <laughs> So every time I travel, I have to pay like an extra hundred dollars. And what I didn't realize was that when you have a connecting flight in the United States, you have to go to baggage claim, get your bag and recheck that bag. So when I go to my next destination, which I have bought the ticket and you all will know shortly, I think I'm just gonna make it a surprise and just show up at the place in a vlog. But anyways, when I go to my next destination, I'm going to have to pay for this bag twice. So I love that for me. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna jump right into it. So I'm gonna show you all what I brought for the year. And there's gonna be a little bit of a clothing haul as well because one thing I love to do is sit and watch clothing hauls for hours on YouTube. That used to be like my favorite pastime. All the thrift girlies just watching their videos all the time. So I wanted to give you a little bit of that. And don't worry for those of you who couldn't give a flying caca about the clothes that I brought, I will section out this video so that you can just like click to the next chapter if you want to. But if you do that, you're fake and phony and lame and boring. But keep watching, please subscribe, and I love you. And go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Okay, so yeah, the first part of this, I'm just gonna show you all kind of the layout of my luggage, and then we'll get into the little clothing haul, and then maybe a couple of other things. I don't know how I'm filming or structuring this at all, but yeah. Roll the clip, roll the luggage clip. Okay, so just a high level overview. So first, this bag. I had all of my like underwear, socks and all that here. Um, but y'all, I kind of repacked this for you so I could film this video. So I did not repack everything because it's just doing too much. <laughs> um, so uh, in these contain in this section here was just, all the stuff under here so like socks underwear bras and stuff i'll try to put like how many of each because i just don't remember but yeah so that's that so if we go over here this is where those things were then i had one two three storage cubes in here which i'm sure if you've seen any youtube travel videos at all you know that 
you need these packing cubes. Um, I stand by them as well. When I was trying to repack this for this video, some of them did not fit back in here. It's not my problem right now. <laughs> and then on this side of the bag is, again, y'all, I'm really not trying to actually repack this bag, but on this side, it was more organized. It was just like, shoes some of my hair care products and toiletries and stuff that did not fit in that bag and yeah so again this is just like a quick overview before i get into things but that's that bag done and then this bag i did a toiletry bag which we'll get into I had one more clothing bag. Um, I think this is just like my uh, like swimsuits and like smaller clothing item. One of those expandable water bottles just in case. I don't know where I think I'm going, but I might need it. Um, like an extra lock so I can lock my things. Y'all, this was way more organized when I first packed this. Um, an umbrella. I love writing cards and people are going to think it's so corny and cocky of me to have these cards with my letter on them. But at the time when I bought them, I thought it was cute and I still think it's cute. Um, and I love writing cards to people like when I leave or just like thank you notes and stuff like that. So this just makes it easier for me to do that. And then in this bag was what is over here i brought some like pictures and little art stuff and i've been adding things as i go like little tickets from things that i've done and my little flight certification from the hot air balloon and stuff but just so that i can like look on my wall and see people places and things and all of that so now i will take you through more specifically what things are i am now a floating head and we are going to get into the clothing haul of it all. And yeah, so let's just get started because like I said, I can't be editing all night on this. Also, I realized on the first take of this, these clips go a little bit faster than I can talk. So we are about to motor mouth our way through these. And some of the information is gonna, I'm gonna have to cut corners a little bit, but I'll add in whatever needs to be added after these clips roll. So basically, first things first, we've got my Nike little track suit. I did become a walking billboard when I started working for Nike, and I really did love that track suit. So that's what I sleep in every single night. Then we've got tank tops, we've got t-shirts. This is a t-shirt from an artist that I love. His name is Max Ayers, check him out. And I'm showing you guys what people used to do. I feel like it was all the craze back in the day. People probably still do it, but it's when you like tuck your t-shirt in and kind of let it be a little bit more fitted. I love that look. Um, another tank top. A lot of the tank tops that I got are from Abercrombie & Fitch. I don't know how people feel about that brand anymore, but I have a lot of tops and tank tops from them. Some t-shirts that I absolutely love. This one I'm obsessed with. And Stussy, Stussy, I don't know how to say it, but people keep putting me on to this brand, so I just got another tee. Don't know why I just did that. Um, here's a cute shirt that I love. Love the color. These are my absolute favorite pants ever in this entire planet. Y'all, pro tip for traveling, get some cargo pants because you can fit literally everything in these babies. And yeah, the ones that I have adjust at the waist, you might have seen it at the beginning, so I can eat whatever I want throughout the day. The pockets have snaps, so people with grubby hands can't be getting up in your pants unless they want to fight. And yeah, love these pants. Got them at the hollow got them in the Halloween section at Goodwill. And yeah, enough said. Next are these brown cargo pants. Again, a lot of my pants are cargos just because they're just easier for travel. Like you can just put so many things in them. This is a t-shirt that I got from Elevation Worship and it has like song lyrics in the back. You can't really see it, but I brought a lot of the t-shirts that I love, love graphic tees. Then we've got this skirt. A lot of the tops that I have are from Aritzia and don't get it twisted. They're all from like the sales section during the holidays. <laughs> Um, but great quality stuff. Love this green skirt, super flowy. Another tank. 
Um, this is another graphic tee from an artist that I love. Her name is Emily King. I like getting t-shirts from concerts. So yeah, I tied that one up as well. Some black cargos just paired with a couple of different outfits. Um, and then we're gonna get into a couple of my party tops. I'm obsessed with this top. It's really good when it's super hot out. And yeah, my back is back in. Literally don't know what to do with cow neck tops. They never fall right on me, I feel. However, I love this one. I've had it actually forever. I think I got it from Nasty Gal. Here's another top. Don't know why I did that. Sorry, mom and dad and whoever else is watching, honestly. And then I'm gonna show you guys really quick how you can work a scarf. So I love bringing scarves when I travel because you can put it on your head. You can also put it on your body and wrap that thing around and make it do a bunch of different stuff for you. And while I do love wearing earth tones, I try to like mix it up with some patterns and things like that. And then obviously layers for jackets. So this is my tried and true jacket. I wear this thing everywhere. It's got inside pockets, which really helps me with just like the safety of my things. Always bringing a leather jacket. Thank you, mom. I took this straight from her closet. Um, leather jackets are so nice. And especially when it's really cold, they keep a lot of heat in. Like I'd be sweating in this thing. Um, so yeah, love that, another layer. And then I brought a couple of different dresses. And I don't know if I said this before, but I'll put the numbers of how many things of each article of clothing that I brought. But yeah, I just brought some dresses in case I needed them for a different occasion. I'm obsessed with this dress. Like, look at her, per, yes, oh my gosh. Um, bend and snap test passed. And then we've got a couple of other like small party dresses. And yeah, then we've got this onesie that I'm obsessed with. And I made these shorts in high school. Fun fact, another pair of shorts. And now we're on to a quick accessory section. I have the biggest head known to mankind. So the only hats that fit me are the knitted stretchy ones. And I got the first two from Etsy. And this one I got from like Amsterdam at a mall or something. Brought a scarf, um, bandana, a couple of other head wraps as well. I'll put the website from where I got it, but they're from Uganda and I love them so much. And now we're on to bags. Pro tip, always bring a um, clip. I forget what the clip is called, but anyways, I love this bag. There's so many pockets. I think of it as like my cargo bag. There are just so many hidden pockets. It fits so much. I'm obsessed with it. It extends as well. And this, you guys, this is a bag from one of my best friends back at Nike. Um, she has a nonprofit called The Elm Project. I'll put more information on the screen about that. But Catrice, I love you so much. And I'm so excited to share that bag. And then I have a couple of different swimsuits because obviously I need to be at the beach at some point. And yeah, that is it. I know that was like lightning round. And I, that's just how the cookie crumbled. Like that's just how the edit came out. Um, just a quick little run through of my clothes. I'm sure I missed a couple of different things, but that's pretty much it clothing wise. I may have said at some point that I was going to go through my electronics bag, but that's not gonna happen for two different reasons. First reason, this video is already gonna be so long and I can get into some tech stuff later on, like with my DJI, like my little Mimo Osmo thing. You might've seen it in another vlog. Um, but I just, it's gonna make the video too long. Second thing, if somebody was going to rob me, I mean, me putting all the electronics that I have with me would be like, come and get it robbers, like come get my things. <laughs> so all you all need to know is that I brought a Nintendo DS with a game card that is jailbroken. So it has unlimited games on it. Like I think it has a thousand games. And then I also brought a Kindle and I'm currently reading a book from an author named, oh, I'm gonna mess it up, but I think it's like Dolly Adderton or Dolly Alderton or something like that. And I'll put the book up on the screen, but I'm loving it so much. I have a couple of other bits and bobs, electronics and wires and recording equipment and stuff like that. But again, disclaimer, <laughs> if you try to steal from me, 
God is going to smite you where you stand. And I know for some of y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't understand God and y'all don't understand what it means to get smote. But he's going to get you. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I know some people are going to be like, why are you showing everything in your bag? Why are you blah, blah, blah. Look, okay, I'm on a mission. I'm sent from God. So if somebody wants to bother me or take my things, that's between you and him. And he's going to take care of it, not me. And you're going to wish it was me taking care of it and not him. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about it. Anyways, yeah, we're going to get into the toiletry part. Okay, so now we're just going to go. Sorry for the echo. I am in the bathroom and I can hear it. So I have a feeling you all can hear it. But anyways, now we're going to go over things that I've brought and things that I bought. Just a little toiletry section. So you can see how I survive out here. So this is my toiletry bag. I'm not gonna get too deep into it because it's like blah, 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 like we get it. Um, but up top here are my contacts, supply of contacts. Then we've got some of these like clips for when I do my hair, um, some hair ties. A mirror because normally I FaceTime myself when I do my braids, but this is just so that I can like see the back of my head if I'm braiding or just like, I don't know, if I need a hand mirror. Um, I actually have a couple pair of glasses. I am a big glasses girl, so I have like different glasses for different moods and things. Let's see, I think I have like six or seven pairs of glasses some makeup brushes in the event that I decide to do anything with makeup. And if you guys saw my last video, you know I literally never do my makeup, so I didn't really bring a lot of makeup stuff, but I did bring like a tiny little makeup bag with like mascara and eyeliner and stuff in it. Um, rat tail comb, cause the girls who know, know. Um, this one actually has a little like, I don't know if you can, it here but it has the little thingy here to help with like parting your hair so and then it's got the rat tail so yeah so I use that to braid and part my hair um what else do I have in here I've got some like random pads uh some medicine um ibuprofen lactate emodium random stuff and then I've got my retainer, which was really risky of me to bring because I'd be losing this thing. Uh, but I bought it just because the people who know who like wore braces or whatever and have like shifty teeth, sometimes when I'm like, I'm about to go somewhere do something like for a day, like the night before I'll just wear my retainer for no reason. I'm like, let me get my teeth back a little bit straight. I don't know. I don't know if it even like helps that much. Um, I got some essential oils, uh, plastic caps, if I need to use that. I've got a second, like, um, shower, like, scrubber. And then, it's really cool, it's got these, like, side pockets, too. There's really nothing in here. I think this is, like, drama mean, um, because I be getting car sick. And then on this side, I just got like a little thermometer, some black nail polish, some like shiny nail polish and some Neosporin for like a quick grab. So I think that's all I have in there. And then I also brought a bonnet with, I put a bunch of these like silk ties in there because when I wear my hair out, like in like naturally curly um, at night, I just need to be able to do the silk tie method. If you know what that is, cool. If you don't, I can't get into that right now. Um, two brushes, detangler brush, brush for when I'm drying my hair. And then I also brought this um, pattern sprayer. It's just like the long spray one. 
So that comes in handy. Let's see, I've got some ponds. This is my go-to um, face lotion. I love dry weather, but here it's so dry. Like right around my nose, it gets super dry and it'll peel a little bit. And like my hair gets so dry. Like I'm constantly having to um, like put conditioner, leave-in conditioner water and stuff in it, which I'll show you in a bit. But anyways, this is the face lotion that I use. For people who want to know about my skincare, I have the worst skincare like regimen ever. I literally just wash my face with whatever I have right now. I've just been using my body soap and then I just put ponds on after and I go about my day. So I've been blessed, but also, yeah, I'm sorry that I don't have any sort of like profound thing to tell you about that. Um, obviously a toothbrush and I brought some extra extensions and then, I brought my bag of braiding hair because I just knew I wasn't trying to have to deal with where am I about to get this braiding hair. So I want to say there's about like 11 or 12, like, I don't know what you call them. I know it's not a weft, but like 11 or 12 of the like little packs of hair. Um, so this should get me through the year. Um, and with it, I just brought, this definitely is not enough for the entire year, but I just brought some of my uh, braid lock and twist gel. Um, so yeah, this is what I use to braid my hair. Tried and true, it's really like, it just, it gets the parts just nice and tight. Um, so yeah, brought that. And then for the things that I bought, we're just gonna run through this really quick lotion but i have to pair it up with this um body oil which pro tip put on body oil before you get out of the shower and just let it like wash off of you and then put lotion on after the shower because like this lotion even though it says cocoa butter babe i don't know i've been looking at my elbows like five minutes after putting this on and it's almost as if it like dried it up more but the combo works for me and then for my hair, I mentioned in another video, I've been using Maui products. These are what they have in Mexico City. So I've been using the Maui shampoo, and I think they're all like vegan or something. Um, the conditioner, and then this is for like when my braids start to frizz up a bit, just the holding kind of, I don't know if it's focusing. But yeah, the holding mousse. And then for oil, I've just been using this. This thing is not out of focus. It's just argan oil, like Moroccan oil. I just put that in my hair. I mentioned this in another video as well, but I got this really nice perfume. And y'all, I have been obsessed with this. I don't know if this brand mails internationally, but I love it so much. I'm like, down to less than half the bottle and I've only had it for like two months maybe or not even maybe like a month I don't even know and then I also bought some makeup wipes so yeah that is what I have for toiletries and obviously I have like body wash and stuff and stuff to take a shower with but that's kind of the general gist of everything and back to the couch or wherever it is that I am all right so we have come to the end of the road the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some sort of educational educational i hope you got something out of this um if anything at all earth tones are your friend prioritize packing heavy over packing multiple bags at least for me i'm like book bag check bag that's it and I'd rather just them be heavy um have a good variety of long sleeve short sleeve tank tops and oh I did not mention this but maybe I did put it somewhere in there um I'll try to edit this back in but I do also have biker shorts leggings and then like one workout top but I can run in tank tops and t-shirts if I'm even running at all <laughs> obviously get those packing cubes please get the packing cube babe invest it's cheap on amazon it may not look it 
but I did try to do my best with having multiple bags so that I could just keep things orderly. I have to sneeze. <sighs> Salud. Um, and yeah, I'll try to put a couple of other tips and tricks on the screen because I'm really, my brain is just like, we're done, girl. You film this, this is your second time filming this, we're done. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that this inspires you to quit your job and move abroad for at least a year and pack your big old bag and get on up out of wherever it is that you're at. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So anyways, I hope that you are having a great Sunday. If you're watching this on Sunday, which I hope you are, I hope you're watching this on the day that it came out. But if you're not, I hope you're having a good whatever day it is. I hope your week is good. I hope your month is good. I hope your year is great. And I hope to see you in the next video. I'm really excited. I'm going on like a two week long excursion trip. Halfway through one of my besties is coming to just run the streets with me. So it's gonna be really exciting. You guys are gonna get a couple of outside of the city videos. So yeah, look out for that. And yeah, this better be the last time I have to film this section of the video. I double checked and it's looking like it's not in slow-mo anymore. So I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on the socials, and I'll see you in the next one.